fishing, a blend of calm and chaos where anything can happen. In this video, we uncover astonishing tales from the deep, unexpected catches, thrilling encounters, and the unpredictable nature of angling. Join us for a dive into the most unbelievable fishing stories, proving that sometimes the true adventure begins with a single cast. Number 20. Giant Goldfish When we talk about goldfish, we usually picture small aquarium fish whose body length rarely exceeds 30 centimeters. However, it turns out they can also grow to gigantic sizes, and now you will see one such specimen. Professional angler Andy Hackett is proud to have caught one of the world's largest goldfish. This happened at a fishing farm in Champagne, France. The caught fish weighed 30.5 kilograms. Due to its bright orange color, it was named carrot. This fish is a hybrid of a leather carp and a koi carp. The fishing farm's manager Jason Collar says that carrot is about 20 years old. She was released into this pond as a fry. Andy Hackett himself says he always knew carrot lived in this pond, but he could never imagine that luck would smile upon him and he would be the first lucky person to catch her. It took the fisherman 25 minutes to pull such a giant out of the water, but do not worry after taking a few pictures with his catch Andy released her back into the wild. By the way Carrot is currently the record holder for her size among other goldfish. The previous leader was caught in 2019 in Minnesota weighing 17 kilograms. Carrot's survival and thriving in the pond illustrate the impact of a nurturing environment on growth potential. Her release highlights the catch and release practice promoting conservation among anglers. This remarkable event underscores the unexpected surprises the natural world holds challenging our perceptions of the ordinary. Number 19. St. Elmo's Fire If you are hearing about St. Elmo's Fire for the first time, you should definitely familiarize yourself with this fantastic phenomenon. It manifests as a glow similar to a lightning discharge on pointed objects. Sailors often observed this anomaly on ship masts though rare it became a known phenomenon among them. Imagine the reaction of people experiencing this at sea for the first time. However, there is no need to fear the lights. It is believed that the ancient Romans were the first to witness these unusual flashes. Warriors noticed that the tips of their spears seemed to catch fire which was impossible. Some dared to touch the flashes and realized there was no danger. Although they did not understand the nature of the anomaly, they stopped paying attention to it. The phenomenon's name is associated with the death of St. Elmo, who met his end on a ship during a storm. According to legend before passing to the other world, he promised to protect all those at sea. Since then, sailors have believed that the appearance of these lights is a sign of an impending end to a storm. There is a scientific explanation for this phenomenon. Scientists have discovered that St. Elmo's fire occurs during thunderstorms or blizzards. The appearance of small discharges requires a large number of ionized particles. Uncharged molecules in the air collide with ions gradually increasing the voltage. When the field strength becomes very high, air breakdown occurs and a conductor is needed. Wet wooden ship masts serve this purpose well hence the formation of these small discharges known as St. Elmo's Fire. Number 18. Unexplored Ocean Fishermen working in the ocean often see unknown and astonishing inhabitants and hear strange unexplained sounds. These stories once again prove that the ocean remains largely unexplored. You might have heard that we know more about the moon than about the ocean. However, scientists consider this statement somewhat inaccurate. Firstly, it was published over 70 years ago when the ocean was indeed almost entirely unexplored. In contrast, the moon, unlike the ocean depths, is within our line of sight. Nowadays, oceanographic research has advanced significantly. Thanks to modern technology, oceanographers possess powerful tools that allow them to observe life at monstrous depths. These advancements have led to the discovery of thousands of species previously unknown to science. The deep sea is home to ecosystems as diverse and complex as those found in tropical rainforests. Submersibles and remote-operated vehicles dive to the darkest corners of the ocean revealing creatures and habitats that defy imagination. Each expedition brings us closer to understanding the vast, uncharted territories beneath the waves. Yet despite these technological leaps, vast stretches of the ocean floor remain mysterious inviting further exploration and discovery. Number 17. Double Catch in early July 2019, a Houston, Texas resident named Chase McRae went fishing in the northwest of Harris County unaware that his catch would soon become known almost worldwide. Chase was surprised by the heavy pull on his line, and upon managing to reel it in he discovered he had caught a snake entangled with his fish tightly coiling around its prey. Naturally, he captured this unusual catch on camera, and the video quickly gained popularity due to its rarity in fishing experiences. While some might refrain from interfering with predators and their prey chase chose to act differently. 
he used a knife to free the fish from the snake's grasp and released it back into the water leaving a few knife marks on the predator. The snake was also released back into the wild. Could be said that this fish was extremely fortunate. Hopefully if it ever becomes a snake's prey again, there will be another angler to rescue it, though the chances of that happening are of course almost zero. This incident highlights the unpredictable nature of wildlife encounters and the unique decisions humans face in such situations. Chase's intervention adds to the ongoing debate about the ethics of intervening in natural predator-prey interactions. Moreover, the event emphasizes the importance of being prepared for unexpected occurrences while engaging with the natural world. Chase's experience serves as a reminder of the intricate balance within ecosystems and the role humans play within it. Number 16. Fish with a human face. Deep-sea fish often have very unattractive appearances. Some of them can scare even the most experienced fishermen. Such an incident occurred with a resident of a fishing village in Krabi Province, Thailand. A man named Priyar Sul almost daily engages in fishing. On one such day, he pulled out of the water a fish so strange and ugly that he was terribly frightened and left it on the shore. After that, Priyar rushed home to tell his family about the horrifying catch. His relatives calmed him down and he decided to retrieve the fish. When Priyar returned to the shore, the fish was already dead. At home, he measured it. The fish was 42 centimeters long and weighed almost 3 kilograms. The fish looked truly terrifying with a small body, a huge head resembling a human face and a massive wide mouth. The villagers considered the fish an embodiment of evil, believing that the creature brought misfortune to their settlement. However, biologists tried to explain to these people that it was not an evil spirit but a species of stargazers. These fish inhabit both shallow and deep waters. Their large heads are necessary for burrowing into the sand while waiting for prey. These fish indeed look very unpleasant. Number 15. Sea Monster The world's oceans hide many mysteries in their deep waters, with most of its inhabitants remaining unexplored. Who knows there may indeed be real monsters lurking in the ocean depths. An experienced sailor named Evan along with other seamen embarked on a voyage from the North Sea to West Africa. As their ship reached the white cliffs of Dover night, had fallen yet the distinct silhouette of the cliffs was clearly visible in the darkness. Evan decided to go on deck to admire the landscape where he encountered another crew member named Peter. As Evan often journeyed with various people he was open to meeting a new colleague. It turned out that Peter used to be an avid fisherman. Several years ago, in the same location, he was fishing as usual when a sudden storm hit. After dark Peter's boat barely coped with the massive waves, and he was bracing for the worst when an unknown creature emerged from the water. Peter couldn't make out its appearance, but he vividly remembered the monster's eyes staring directly at him. Peter doesn't recall what happened next nor how he ended up ashore. This story may sound like a fabrication, but if it's true it means the monster saved the fisherman's life. Number 14. Mysterious Creature When the people captured in this photo were enjoying fishing they certainly didn't expect anything unusual to happen. Suddenly a strange creature appeared in the reeds also caught in the frame. Later the fishermen felt as though someone was watching them. Scanning their surroundings, they saw no one until their gaze fell on the tall grass. According to these individuals, an unknown creature was hiding in the dense reeds. It had a human-like figure with noticeable webbing on the fingers and toes and something resembling gills on its neck. The creature's eyes were similar to those of a snake and it lacked a nose. Frozen with fear, as soon as one of them took a step towards the reeds, the creature instantly disappeared. Who or what it was remains a mystery. The fishermen themselves believed they were fortunate to have encountered a cryptid the existence of which is still unknown to science. This incident has sparked interest among cryptozoologists who study such beings beyond current scientific understanding. The encounter adds to the collection of cryptid sightings that continue to intrigue and puzzle humanity. Debates over the existence of such creatures often highlight the vast unexplored areas on our planet. These narratives challenge our understanding of the natural world and open the door to the possibility of undiscovered species. The fisherman's experience serves as a reminder of the mysteries that may still lie hidden in the untouched corners of the earth. Number 13. The Rarest Lobster During a fishing trip, a Maine fisher named Jeff Edward was fortunate enough to catch a lobster with an extremely rare coloration. At first glance, these photos might seem edited, but they are not. This lobster is genuinely colored half red and half black with the coloration split perfectly down the middle making it a fascinating sight for perfectionists. Interestingly, Jeff wasn't the only fisherman in Maine to catch a rare multicolored lobster. Another lucky individual was Jacob Knowles, who also caught a two-tone lobster. However, in this case, the lobster's exoskeleton was blue and green. Additionally, this specimen was a hermaphrodite possessing both male and female organs. 
Scientists from a research institute in Portland explain that such two-tone colorations are due to a genetic anomaly resembling chimerism. According to biologists, a two-tone coloration with a clear central division in the body of an arthropod occurs in one out of 50 million individuals. Thus, these two fishermen can indeed be considered lucky. The rarity of such findings contributes significantly to our understanding of genetic diversity in marine life. Discoveries like these underscore the vast unknowns that the ocean holds and the potential for more unique creatures to be found. They also serve as a reminder of the beauty and complexity of nature captivating those lucky enough to witness them. These unique lobsters have not only provided an exciting story for Edward and Nulls, but have also become valuable specimens for scientific study and public fascination. Number 12. Live Grenade Toby Scott, an electrician from the English city of Bath in Somerset, enjoys fishing in his spare time, but not the conventional kind. He's into magnet fishing. He hunts for various metal objects left in bodies of water rather than fish. For Christmas, his friends gifted him a powerful neodymium magnet, which he attached to his fishing rod to test out. On December 27, 2020, Toby and his friend Elliot went to the Kennet and Avon Canal to fish with the new magnet. Initially, they pulled up a toy car mechanism from the water. On their next cast, they caught a shocking item, a live grenade from World War II. Realizing the potential danger, they immediately called the police. For the next three hours, the area around the canal was cordoned off. Experts carefully cut the fishing line and took the magnet along with the grenade to dispose of it safely in a remote area. Toby was understandably shaken by his find. He mentioned that this incident made him reconsider whether to continue with this hobby or return to traditional fishing. Number 11. The Call of the Sirens a retired U.S. Navy sailor shared his story online. According to him, while sailing in the Marshall Islands territory, he and other crew members encountered a terrifying phenomenon. As soon as their ship entered this territory, they began to hear strange sounds resembling screams and moans. The sailors discussed the anomaly and shared their guesses about what was happening. Most crew members believed the source of the strange sound was birds or marine mammals, but none were seen nearby. The sailors then speculated that it might be hallucinations but how could everyone on the ship hear the same sounds? This puzzled them. Some sailors were so shocked that they suggested bringing on board several residents from nearby settlements to ensure it wasn't a mirage. However, this idea was unlikely to be good. So what could these sailors have heard? It's likely that the sound came from the depths of the Pacific Ocean. This phenomenon is also known as the call of the sirens or the voice of the sea. Typically, it occurs when infrasound vibrations of a certain frequency are formed in the water mass. Although such a phenomenon is formed during a storm, it's possible to encounter this wave even during calm weather. So it seems these sailors witnessed a storm occurring far from their location. Number 10. Fish with two mouths. In 2015, an Australian fisherman named Gary Warwick caught a real mutant on his hook a fish with two mouths. The fish's upper mouth remained always open while the lower one could close. Gary admitted that in his 30 years of fishing experience, he had encountered various deformed fish, but he had never seen anything like this before. The man even decided to keep his unusual catch as a souvenir and froze the fish, although he usually uses mutants as bait or fertilizer. Biologists explain that the presence of two mouths is due to a very rare genetic disorder called diprosopus. This mutation causes the duplication of parts of the face or the entire face itself. Diprosopus also occurs in humans, although this mutation is incredibly rare. This fish with two mouths was not the only one caught. Several cases are known where fishermen caught fish with the same anomaly. The discovery of such creatures challenges our understanding of biology and genetics. It opens discussions on the variability of life forms and the impact of environmental factors on genetic mutations. These instances provide invaluable data for scientific research helping experts to study genetic variations and their causes. Moreover, the occurrence of diprosopus in fish indicates the complexity of natural selection and evolution. This rare finding underscores the endless mysteries lurking in the depths of our oceans, waiting to be uncovered by the curious and the brave. Number 9. Herring King In June 2015, fishermen off the coast of Santa Catalina Island, California noticed an unusually long fish. It took the help of 16 people to bring it ashore. Locals are accustomed to finding various ocean inhabitants washed up on the shore after a storm, but a fish resembling a sea serpent was a first for them. Therefore, many people gathered on the beach to take a closer look at the strange creature and take photos with it. It was later discovered that this fish is known as the herring king or the oarfish. The length of this specimen reached 5M, which is why it attracted the attention of both locals and the press. The herring king inhabits the Pacific Indian and Atlantic Oceans. 
These fish live at depths of 500 to 700 meters and are the longest of all studied bony fish. On average, they are about 3M long, but the largest recorded specimen was 11 meters long and weighed 272 kilograms. According to Annie McCauley, the founder of the nonprofit organization Mountain and Sea Adventures, it was the first time she had seen a herring king in her 20 years on the island. Thus, it's indeed very rare to find this fish washed ashore. Number 8. Encounter with Turtle It's essential to remember that the world ocean covers just over 70% of our planet's surface. This means that its exploration will take much more time. Currently, only 5% of the world ocean has been explored, but science is making significant strides in this challenging field. One day, our descendants will know the full diversity of its depths. Recently, a Reddit user shared an amazing story with their followers. Having been fishing for a long time, they decided to try diving. During a dive in the Great Barrier Reef in the Pacific Ocean, they encountered a giant green turtle which they compared to a small car in size. According to this person, the turtle was at least 100 years old. They were shocked and impressed by such an unusual encounter, and it's understandable since it's not every day that you see such an old animal in its natural habitat. On average, the lifespan of a green turtle is 80 years, but some individuals are known to have lived for over 100 years in the wild. Turtles are among the longest living animals on Earth, with Galapagos tortoises recognized as the longest living among them. Their average lifespan is 177 years. Number 7. Deer Antlers In 2018, a Northern Ireland resident named Raymond McCroy made a sensational discovery in Loch Enny. According to the fisherman, when he checked his nets, he immediately realized something heavy was caught in them. At first he thought it was a large stick, but upon untangling the net, he discovered it was a deer skull with antlers. Naturally, Raymond did not discard his catch and brought it home. He then contacted the Ulster Museum and reported his find. The museum staff were delighted to receive the deer skull and began its identification. It turned out that the remains belonged to a species of giant deer Megaloceros giganteus which inhabited parts of Eurasia and Africa around 15,000 years ago. This species is now extinct. The name of these deer spoke for itself, the span of their antlers could reach up to 4 meters making it impossible for them to dwell in forests thus they only lived in open areas. Raymond McCroy admits that he is very proud of his find, even though he was not the only fisherman to have found such antlers in the lake. Number 6. Mysterious Glow Recently a Reddit user shared a story that happened to him nearly 14 years ago. This man has been involved in professional fishing for a long time sometimes going out to sea for several days and often spending nights in his motorboat. While some might find it frightening to stay out at sea alone at night experienced fishermen and sailors are well accustomed to it. During one such night, while enjoying the calm sea warm June breeze and stargazing, he noticed a strange glowing object among the stars. Having never seen anything like it before he was startled even briefly considering the possibility of it being an alien spacecraft which prompted him to head back home immediately. A few days later the fisherman realized there was nothing to fear from the news he learned that what he had seen that night was not a UFO but the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa launched in May 2003 to explore the asteroid Itakawa. Hayabusa was returning to Earth in June 2010 to deliver soil samples from the asteroid. The sample capsule was dropped in southern Australia and Hayabusa burned up in the dense layers of the atmosphere. This event was what the fisherman had witnessed that night. Number 5. Turtle instead of Catfish Catfish are popular targets for anglers due to their size responsiveness to bait and, of course, their delicious taste. Traditional catfish fishing methods became mundane for anglers prompting the invention of a new technique called noodling. This method involves catching catfish with bare hands using the hand as bait. Anglers explore underwater holes with their hands to find the fish's dwelling. If located, the catfish grabs the angler's hand and then the noodler attempts to catch it with both hands. Handling a large fish alone can be quite challenging so noodlers often hunt with assistance. Although this activity might seem dangerous, it has become increasingly popular. Recently competitions are even held in the southeastern United States with both men and women participating. Recently a few noodlers decided to increase the challenge by fishing at night. In complete darkness however this turned out to be not very successful and even dangerous. When one of the anglers began to search the holes he was confident he had found a catfish dwelling. Upon inserting his hand, he felt intense pain despite wearing a protective glove. Instinctively, he pulled his hand out of the water and saw a snapping turtle, also known as an alligator snapping turtle, attached to it. It is worth noting that these turtles often pose a danger to noodlers. They frequently inhabit catfish dwellings and are very aggressive. They perceive any object entering their dwelling as a threat and attack with their powerful beak-like jaws. The bites from these turtles are very painful. 
Following this incident, the anglers abandoned the idea of noodling but continued to engage in their hobby using traditional fishing rods. Number 4. The Heaviest Fish Ever Found In December 2021 off the coast of Fial Island in the Azores, Portugal, a gigantic carcass of a sunfish was spotted. Local authorities dispatched specialists to bring it ashore for further study. Upon reaching the shore, the fish was immediately weighed, setting a record. This sunfish has been recognized as the heaviest bony fish ever found. How much do you think this fish weighed? No, not a ton and not even two. It weighed 2,744 kilograms with a body length of more than 3.5 meters. The previous weight record among fish was also held by a sunfish, but it was 500 kilograms lighter than this one. The sunfish got its name from its round body shape, resembling Earth's natural satellite. This shape helps these fish warm up their bodies in the sun after spending long periods at great depths. Sunfish are recognized as the heaviest bony fish. They inhabit the warm waters of all oceans at depths of up to 844 meters. Sunfish typically grow up to 2 meters in length and weigh no more than a ton, but as you can see there are real giants among them. These fish are also considered one of the most fertile a female can produce up to 300 million eggs at a time. Despite their size, sunfish are very vulnerable and often fall prey to orcas, sea lions, and sharks. Number 3. Encounter with Flying Fish Flying fish possess a unique ability. They can powerfully leap out of the water and glide through the air for short distances thanks to their very large pectoral fins. Watching videos of these fish gliding in groups is a real pleasure, but imagine being in the center of these leaps on a boat. Considering that these fish can reach speeds of up to 56 km per hour, a Reddit user shared his encounter with flying fish. Last year, he went fishing in the open ocean near Grand Canaria Island. The man was enjoying the calm sea and a good catch when he was about to head back, he heard a terrible noise as if something huge was hitting the water surface. He looked back and saw a school of flying fish speeding towards his boat at full velocity. Naturally, the fisherman got scared and covered his head with his hands, but still the tail of one of the fish hit him. The man admitted he was very lucky to have only ended up with a bump on his head. So it is better to observe the leaps of flying fish from a distance. Number 2. Terrifying Parasite In 2021, an African student named Don Marks went on a small trip to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean near Cape Agullis to fish. He chose a promising spot and the catch was expected to be good. The first fish he caught was a 3 kilograms red snapper. However, what surprised him was not the size of the catch but what he found inside its mouth when removing the hook. In place of the fish's tongue was a disgusting creature. Don confessed that he had been fishing since childhood and had never seen anything like this before. So he took a photo of the strange creature that replaced the fish's tongue and sent it to his acquaintance biologist Nico Smith. Nico told Don that this creature is a parasite, one of the species of isopods. These animals feed on the tongues of snappers gradually by sucking blood and consuming flesh they leave the fish tongueless. Then firmly attach themselves in the oral cavity and take the place of the lost organ. Amazingly, these isopods are the only parasites in the world capable of completely replacing their host's organ. They just like a tongue help the fish hold its prey against the palate. It is not advisable to remove the isopod from the oral cavity as it would deprive the fish of a tongue replacement. Moreover, the parasites attach so firmly to the mucous membrane that they are almost impossible to detach. Number 1. Glowing Water A resident of Java Island who recently took up fishing witnessed an unusual phenomenon. He prefers fishing at night as he is not afraid of the dark and enjoys combining stargazing with his hobby. One night, while at sea, he noticed a glow where his boat contacted the water. The fisherman could not believe his eyes and decided to move away, but the glow followed him. Initially frightened, he soon realized nothing sinister was occurring and felt like a character in a fairy tale. If you think this is just another fisherman's tale, you would be mistaken. Seawater can indeed glow not due to mystical creatures or aliens, but due to tiny phytoplankton. These microorganisms have the ability to bioluminesce or generate light especially when disturbed by external factors such as the mechanical resistance of water movement. In the fisherman's case, his boat interacted with a section of seawater containing phytoplankton prompting them to produce a bright blue light. He was fortunate to venture out to sea during a population bloom of these remarkable microorganisms. This spectacle is something he will likely remember for the rest of his life.